Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles, particularly the Atari 2600. And make sure you watch at 60 frames a second, or you're going to be in trouble, because it's not going to look good. No. Um, and today we have Darcy. Hello, I am Darcy. And myself, whose my name is above, but we don't have a name for this person above themselves. This is Tamara. Welcome to the show. Uh, I don't know how long you're going to stick around. <laughs> we'll see how long we can keep her entertained. <laughs> um, no sound. Oh, no, we have sound. Your fault. 120 frames a second. Well, you could watch at 120 frames a second. It would be very strange looking. Would it look strange? Yeah, have Wouldn't you ever look seen... exactly the same? No. Oh, have you will ever it look seen like, it? A, like a soap opera? Yeah, it would. It would look like that. I, mean, I want to see that. No, we're wait. at 30 right now so it's broadcasting at 60 and if you double that again have you ever seen those tvs in the stores they yeah. always have them set at 120 or 240 i thought that was just that they had full high resolution no no it's the it's the whatever Frame? true picture setting they always oh. put it on and it always looks like soap opera yeah mm. our friends just got a new tv and they were talking about returning it because they hated it so much it's just they said setting. everything looks like a soap opera they figured, they figured it, out. it out they okay. figured it out it's okay it's okay yeah, calm down uh, yeah it's, did did either of you see the hobbit at 48 frames a second uh we did see the thing yeah yeah, yeah. At, we saw it at 48 frames a second or I, we at saw a special it, theater we saw it at the special frame rate i think okay and it looked like like you're watching a play it looked like real life like yeah. just a camera looking at people dressed up in costumes running around yeah. and that's kind of the effect that you get with the 120 frames a second mm -hmm. it's disturbing and mm -hmm. you're just not used to it mm -hmm. but if you were there watching a play be like oh this is a play uh, it's normal but for a movie where it's fantasy <laughs> is it too much like our outside I mean like yeah, a soap opera like, because it used <laughs> oh, to be it's scary it it's used too to much be real like life. tv shows were filmed on film or particularly many, 30 many, frames a second. Many shows were filmed on film, but yep. shows that were like daily and what have you were filmed on video and yep. soap operas. It's, and I remember like music videos and what have you. And they had that like, sh like real. It, that's what I always thought when I was a kid. It just looks real and live. And like, it was just like <laughs> yeah. extra shiny. Yeah. yeah. But it was actually the frame rate. It was 30 frames a second that they were filmed at. Not much of a difference. And films are 24 and people were used to films being at 24 before television came in and television was only i know there's no name above the someone lady. says there's no name above that lady and then, <laughs> and then he says that's no lady that's my wife that's uh, that's, that's no lady say. that's my wife <laughs> um tvs are at 30 frames a second because of the frequency of electricity it is 60 hertz so they divided by two and you have interlaced and blah 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 do you know what the frequency of your heart is? Uh, depends how excited you are. It's just love. It's just love. Frequency of love. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be playing... Put one up! Uh... It's a bit of work. <laughs> well, you can do it while we're playing a game. While somebody's playing, but I, yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. No promises. No Who one. What up? Uh, the name, name above, above here. See? Oh, me over oh. there. We've got names, and you've got no name. What would that take? Like twenty-five minutes? Uh, <laughs> about a maybe thirty seconds. Oh, so in the time it took for us to talk about it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> time it took to complain about it. We could have had it done. Well, you have to double Oh, that's a real one. That's a real name. Gray hair. Let's get that back in order there. Um, so we're going to be playing three games, but actually five games, because one is a triple game, but little Ooh. games. Uh, the first one is Phantom 2 slash Pirate by David Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7. Um, and it uh, includes a bonus game. It's unnamed. People have named it Wizard, but oh. we'll see. Uh, the next one is called The Deep by Ed Riley, a.k.a. Wink Dot, and that is a cat named Atari. And the third game is Robot Tank. We're going to be playing for a patch challenge by Alan Miller. So, it's kind of a theme. Phantom 2 is an airplane game. The Deep is a submarine diving game. And Robot Tank is obviously a tank game. So there's going to be a lot of driving and flying and diving. Yeah. That's deep. It that's is. Deep. You, you come to zero pace for <laughs> and that 
and that was theme. completely random like <laughs> like literally it was random i want to thank all the people that showed up today to chat mallard games thrust 26 splendid nut esramir's 2008 tifos mallard games uh myself uh splendid nut uh i think that's everybody who's chatting ice Bosta. there we go how come mallard games name color keeps changing uh well we'll get to that <laughs> oh, in the news actually oh, we figured exciting. something out today oh. which is very very helpful because we've been complaining about it for a little while oh, multiple mentions did i say your name yeah twice? you said a few names twice it happens because i have to scroll and we'll I fix forget. it in post yeah we'll edit that out and it'll be little video jumps the post yeah yeah unfortunately it's a video so ah. it doesn't work so well I'll, I'll bleep it out i'll bleep it out <laughs> oh wait we're live <laughs> um i want to thank the twitch subscribers gretem's ground trooper johnny wc23 croco dill vom nil long complicated name mr fix muddy funster nathan strum rc70 repentless vg retro happy hour scum software sir cat legs spiceware s ramirez 2008 the d train 37 and tiki dan k and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your amazon prime to your twitch prime and click subscribe um some mail news and feedback or cough up some cash or you can just <laughs> go straight for the cash that's true that's not free but you can still do it some people do there's a couple people who and straight cash to us so we can afford new uh games in box to play on the show i'll alert the tax authorities Shh. <laughs> quiet about the taxes <laughs> i might have to pay a couple dollars <laughs> um don't tell the irs or or or, or um, cra cra hey, don't mess mm. with cra no they're very don't annoying mess. they they they're very polite. Send a lot of letters. Please. Actually, they are very polite. They are. They're yeah. pretty good. Actually. Yeah. But they will yeah. find you. Yeah. They oh, will yeah. find you, but they oh, will yeah. work with you. They will not just throw you in jail. <laughs> not immediately. You have to be really bad. Yeah. Um, so I've been talking with the author, uh, uh, Christoph Kluczek, um, aka KK Altair of Robo Mechanic. Did we play that once a long time ago? Mm -hmm. That was the a puzzle couple of action. Times, yeah. It's yeah. Really good. Um, and we played it on Wednesday's show again. Some of the later um, mazes, I guess. We finished world like we we finished world A through C, and then I finished world D and E on Wednesday show. And so I've been talking with the author, and we have something very fun to present at the beginning of October coming up. So that'll be a lot of fun. Might be new guaranteed uh, new unreleased Lots worlds of fun. for the game. Um, oh, and we come back to chat colors. You can oh, see there. Yeah. People have, uh, we figured it out. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Thrust26. Um, you can set your own chat color now. Mm -hmm. And it'll be consistent there and there and uh, on everybody's um, okay. screens. Because before it was just like random. So if you don't set your chat color, it'll be whatever color on whoever's screen. It's totally random. But if you, you can click on the little gear chat icon settings, yeah. and then go under chat settings, identity and edit. And you can pick from, oh, and then you more. know, like six, nine, I for yourself, know, 12, nine? 15, 15 colors that are preset. And oh, no, looks like you have to pay for more. Oh, <laughs> that's how they get you. That's how they get you. Oh, my chat's completely gone. <laughs> that was wonderful. <laughs> I didn't know it replaced it. <coughs> oh, the chat's still Sorry, there. does that mean that each person um, selects their own color? That's yes. what custom is? Oh, yeah. okay. So, so that doesn't answer my question. What is your question? it's that Mallard Games kept changing their color. Well, we discovered this oh. uh, during the chat. So people before the show started set their own colors. So that's uh, why it changed. Yeah. Okay, so that's my, cool. Mine was red on my screen and I set it to red. So it's going to be, mine's going to be red. So everybody can set their own chat colors now. It's very exciting. Mm-hmm. Because they were totally random and very confusing. And some people had terrible colors or the same colors. But now they'll have the same colors on purpose. <laughs> These are serious issues. Yes, that face us every nameless, day. Nameless lady. Mm -hmm. Lady without a name. So we're going to jump into the first game. And it's called Phantom 2. Slash pirate. Slash maybe called wizard. But he said name the game yourself. Uh, so if you can grab that joystick, Darcy. Oh, oh, you got a cat. 
did you catch a cat? Nope, it's already booted. Oh. So pick that second one there. Phantom? Phantom 2. And the final, uh, NTSC. NTSC, because we live in North America. And this is the title screen for it, and we're going to play the... Oh, actually, we're not going to play it yet, so don't do that just yet. Um, because this is a port of an arcade game. Oh. So we're going to take a look at the arcade game first, some footage, so we know where this comes from. And it is from the arcade game. This is how uh, I find out how to play. Phantom Two. <laughs> yeah, you get some, you get some hints here. Normally, I don't get any information at all. It just throws me <laughs> just into the jump, deep end. Jump right into it. No, uh, no water wings, no nothing. No. You should be wearing a red shirt. <laughs> That's I, right. That is a good, that is a good point. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is the arcade game. Let me bring that up on the screen. There we go. Oh. Um, this is the arcade game Phantom 2 Arcade. Oh, I don't have any information about this. I should get some. 1979 Midway. Yep, so we have that much information. So let's jump a little bit forward to where they actually start playing. There we go. So I think it's pretty straightforward because games back in 1979 um, looks a, little, a lot like a, a hornet, more than a, <laughs> a phantom. <laughs> I'm guessing a phantom is a type of plane. A phantom two specifically. Uh, you don't know. So let's read about that. Yeah, I mean, I know what a phantom is, but. Oh, okay. I think a phantom too is. Uh, yeah, so is this is nighttime, a... and you're shooting out radar pulses? Uh, that might have been fog or cloud cover. Oh. Uh, McDonald Douglas F4 Phantom Two is the full name of it. Um, let's see if there is. There is no Wikipedia entry for the arcade game. So this is in the arcade. This is from the arcade, yeah. Um, oh. Games look like this in they 1979. Really... Oh, yeah, okay, it's 1979. It's old, old before oh. Pac-Man. Wow. Really? Yeah, wow. Pac-Man was 1980. But uh, Midway 1979 sounds like a sequel to... Isn't the Midway... Wasn't that the one where you're... It's like World War Two. There was a 1942 game. Yeah. It was called 1942 and 1943. Yeah, Midway. Um, I think Midway made that. Somebody can correct me. I thought me it was called that. Midway. Uh, no. Oh. No, I think that was just like on the screen. I thought you were fighting the Battle of Midway. Oh, maybe you were, actually. Hmm. Nobody has said anything. <laughs> I was like, is my chat working? <laughs> They're enthralled by the, uh, by the video there. <laughs> okay, so let's skip to the game. Sometimes they get a little bit into it. And they stop talking. <laughs> okay. So uh, press up for Phantom 2. There we go. And 1. Um, yeah, let's just play game 1. Um, there's different variations. Oh, my bullet travels. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. In fact, I know how I feel about that. I don't like it. You don't like it? No. I like it. I know you do. That's radar. Oh, it's nighttime. Because the clouds are still there. It's a little bit different than the arcade there. Yeah, because I can't see where my radar is. Well, I got a guy anyway. See, the radar, it's, it's um, pulsing up the screen, and only when it matches where the oh, what plane I mean is, is. what I'm. Oh, I see the sides there. Yeah, that shows you where it's uh, scanning. Uh, so, uh, after I posted that we are going to play his game, S0C7 uh, said... Uh, P2 slash P is an interesting from a historical perspective. Beyond that, I'm not sure how well it'll go over in the current era. Why is there two guys there? Oh, I that's the end, of the, I think I, the end of the game. You got seven points. I guess I died. Can you press the button to start? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's a timed game. So it's how many planes you can get in the amount of time. For one quarter. For one quarter, <laughs> yes. It makes sense that games were timed when they were 
arcadey. A lot of them did. Like yeah. you couldn't just sit in one place. There yeah. was always a threat of you have to get more health or you have to make it to the end of the level or yeah. something like that because they wanted your quarters. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. were money makers. And no, I bet it's there's the, it's, it's it's neat how form and function interplay and Oh yeah. I, the, and the I'm sure there was methods. like studies yeah. on each game done to go, okay, how long will an a new game new gamer oh, last? Yeah. How long will an average gamer last and how long will an expert yeah. gamer last? It's the exact same thing today. Just more sophisticated yeah <laughs> different yeah. payment methods look like, at, look at the bullet 12 it was minutes. about to kill him uh if he moved left it was about to kill him no he, i was he moving past i oh. was moving him okay. he was dead you would have got 13 he was gonna die there you go your turn you press this button to shoot and this is how you move your little airplane thingy uh um, oh is it on already yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh i don't want to no you don't can you crash into him i don't know i know you can't crash into him when you're at the bottom so and you get one bullet at a time. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you're just, taking out. Just like in real life. Yep. One bullet at a time. No two. You have to see where it hits first, and then you can shoot again. Where is he? Oh, he's gone. I always wondered about that one bullet at a time. What is the mechanism that justifies that? Uh, I, think like, I think there's no mechanism that justifies it. <laughs> it's like, I can't shoot until it that that missile reports back to me that it is at least 200 meters away or has destroyed its target <laughs> five five that's pretty it's good not bad. <laughs> that is not good. Bad. <laughs> you go again no okay james you go then okay um it, this was the second batari basic game to make it into the atari age store oh so that is this is an old game it's from 2006 um it's old Mm. This is as old as an iPhone. Wait, when did the iPhone come out? Oh my god. <laughs> Around then. Oh, is there a cat cam? No. Oh, good. Yeah. Of course there's a cat cam. What are you doing? He's just oh, giving him a neck massage. Just a very trouble. strongly worded neck massage. Yeah. The radar part is very difficult. It is. Because you can only see it for a second and then it's always moving. Yeah. Your dominant cat. <laughs> Come dominate me. <laughs> Bite my neck. Yeah. I like it. So, Tamara, what is your history with arcade games? Have you, did you ever play games in the arcade in the 80s or 90s? Pac Man? Or uh, well, my, my parents weren't the kind of suckers who would give me a bunch of quarters, so no. Uh, right. <laughs> but we did get uh, we did get an Atari. Oh, really? Uh, we had an Atari 2600. Wow. That got is... it for Christmas, probably two years after it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> so it probably became Based cool my... around 81, yeah, 1980, so, yeah. so you probably got it in 83, 83 yeah, just probably. before the Nintendo NES came out. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we had, we had Ms. Pac-Man. Of a good, very good game, actually. Yeah. Oh, probably, look! Probably came with the, wow. I made it to something else. I think that was pretty Ms. cool. Pac-Man and, uh, you said Frogger earlier. Yeah, Ms. Oh, Pac-Man and too. Frogger. Frogger Frogger's was a good one. That was my favorite. I played that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's I, a good And I remember how, how excited everyone was about hooking it up, and it was... Such yeah. a big deal at the time, <laughs> you know. Getting the wires, all the wires, right. and the you gotta hook this into the antenna. Keep we literally it on had three. Yeah, and we had a old TV with. Was it color? Like we literally had bunny ears on that TV. Was it black and white or color? No, it was color. Yeah. Oh, okay, at least you got color. That's good. Yeah, my first Atari fun. experience was black and white. It was very yeah. terrible, <laughs> and fuzzy, and all the rest yeah. of it. Wow, I am doing exceptionally well. Uh, I think. Uh, there must be you must get extended time oh is that what that flashing thing at the bottom is I yes it is so. you must get extended time oh. every time you shoot a thing because no. otherwise you couldn't have gotten this high because you've been playing longer than we were wow okay that's amazing 33 there was a guy at the we bowling alley richard uh. bolio <laughs> you do not know that was really that was really he insane. worked there um i don't know he was there all the time it's like a, and there was a, a shoe a shoe maker cobble like, sir, like <laughs> Joe Cobble. 
Joe no, Shoemaker. No, well, I said bowling alley, Joe and then Schumacher. I said I said bowling alley, and then yeah. I said bolio. So you oh. interpreted it, but it was spelled like bowl, like mm. B E A U. I think oh. that was the same. And he had the. That's what happens if you what? If, that you get those when you run into somebody, which is what oh. happened to me the first time I got a seven. I must have run into him. I see. So nobody ever dies in this game. They're always they're always parachuting. <clears throat> but he was he was so good at Miss Pac-Man that people would just gather around him. But it was the least interesting thing to see because he just literally like he didn't move. <laughs> he was like a little piece of furniture. He showed no yeah, emotion, <laughs> no emotion at all. Just just, uh, just static. It was yeah. like part machine. <laughs> and and it would, with Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, it's like it's a pattern. So after a while, you're just oh, watching yeah. this person do a pattern for you know hours yeah um none of, uh it was written as one of the earliest versions of batari basic none of the fancy stuff was available back then so it's very 70s looking it actually is um p2 is black and white because the arcade game was i made a color an unlockable feature but some people couldn't understand so i made a game variation as well so uh, we didn't unlock the color variation i don't know how you do it either um Oh, Phantom Phantom 2 is a homebrew cartridge featuring two games written by David Weevil. Phantom 2 is based on an old Bally Midway arcade game of the same name, where your goal is to patrol the unfriendly skies and shoot down enemy bombers. Fight your way through day and night zones and shoot down the enemy bomber. Use the joystick to move the fire, uh, fighter and fire button to fire missiles. You only get one life, so avoid colliding with the enemy jets. You're safest on the lower level of the screen. I don't know why you'd ever move. Uh, because you get your bullet back quicker. Yeah. Uh, and it's shorter to shoot to him. Uh, but this part, I would just stay in the bottom because you don't know where he is. Yeah, if you want the game to end, uh, and if you have some <laughs> strategy for killing them, which I don't. <laughs> I like I'm getting them here through pure luck. Okay. In the night zone, the enemy jets are only visible when the radar passes over them. You start with approximately 60 seconds in the guided missile version and 90 in the regular. If you can reach and shoot down the bomber, which require three hits, you'll be awarded with additional time. Ah, that's how I that got was the, the time. That the bomber that you shot. The big one. Ah. Uh, the enemy jets get more evasive, and you receive less time to accomplish your goals with each successive round. So, let's take a look at the variations on this. Because I think there's a color variation. One second. Hi, Arena Foot. Hello! Welcome, Arena <clears throat> Foot. Uh, okay, there we go. Get into the menu. What are all the variations? Uh, so let's go to the regular missile. <laughs> so that's going to be harder. <laughs> and it doesn't have, Oh, color. <laughs> then we'll go to the color. Oh! Oh, yeah, you have to do it. So press up. And it's game number. Um, Three. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of color. Oh, that's nice. Much more soothing. The sky is blue. It's a little easier on the eyes. <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> it is. It's harder, it's harder to, harder to play. Oh, harder. yeah. It's harder to... I, I, I'm not... Oh, I see. You don't steer your bullets anymore. Yes, yes. Oh, you thought the, it was harder because it was color. <laughs> I, I I didn't actually think it was harder because of color. I thought that uh, I was doing worse. Yeah. And I blamed the fact <laughs> blamed that it was color. Okay, we're gonna play pirate now. I think we've exhausted this one. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's a two-player game. Uh, yes, let's play a two-player. You know, to make it like a true 1980s experience, you would just play two games forever. <laughs> I don't know if the day two... in and day oh, out. Oh, do it again. Oh, that's again. true. Press reset again. Okay. This whole having a million games thing is the... It's, game. No, it's much better. It is. Which number? Six. Oh! Ha ha ha. Good luck on you. Ha ha. Nope. 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 Do I shoot you? Nope. I just evade you. Oh. What was that? What was that? <laughs> ah! Ah! I got you. But ah no no I got you. That's oh, that the only... was you and you. Yeah yeah. Were you trying to get behind each other and shoot each other? I can't. Oh maybe I can shoot if I get behind you. Here you That's go, Tam. You kill him. Uh, no, you do. I'm gonna just. 
text all my friends. <laughs> tell them I'm on TV. I'm on TV, baby. Oh, I can't go down to the bottom. Did you know I said all my friends? All your one friend. All my one friend. I'm gonna text my friend. Ah. Do you want guided missile? See, if I crash into you, it just ends the game. Mm -hmm. That's not very fun. Guess you have to evade me. <laughs> and shoot me at the but same time. But your goal is for me to have the lowest score, I guess. But I would do that immediately. So yeah, you try to... it immediately. Okay, try to do it again. And I'll just... Ah, I can't. All you have to do is retreat. <laughs> ah, not as easy as uh, I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. um, trying to crash into you. But I only have to do that once. That's right. So what's the address for the live stream on Twitch? Uh, it's called Zero Page Space Homebrew. Oh, you got me. You went behind a cloud. I'm going to switch it to... That's right. I killed you six it. times before you killed me. That's true. So That's would true. it be twitch.com forward slash? Uh, yeah. Twitch.com? Yeah, it's twitch.com. Yeah. You are watching twitch.com <laughs> forward slash. I don't know if it's forward slash, but they can search for it. What do you mean? Why wouldn't it be forward slash? Uh, it should be. Oh, there we go. Somebody, every input typed it in. Dot TV, not com. Oh, dot TV. Okay, yeah. that's that's good to know. Somebody else has twitch.com, which makes sense. It's You're watching very... Twitch TV. <laughs> if you like this, you'll like. You'll other enjoy shows. other. Ooh, I can plug my podcast. You can. Yeah. Um, listen to my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get to your podcast? Uh, you can go to sevenfunnythings.com, oh. num number seven, yeah. and episode, mm, I want to say nine. It's a good starter that you're, one. That you're on? James, oh. James is on. Uh, oh, that I'm, no, don't. Uh, We're on one of them. What? Uh, no? You don't want them to know about your other? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. Well, I told them about everything. It's fine. Yeah. Just, uh, well, then they'll hear you talking <laughs> about them, because he talks about Oh, I do. I talk about all of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to play Pirate now. Um, but, actually we're going to play the bonus game first, because there's an updated version of Pirate that he released later. Okay. So, to get to the bonus game, it's three presses of the buttons. And that was not in the manual. Wizard! It is a wizard! So people have called this wizard. I'm going to let you try and figure out how to play. Because I had to figure out how to play. Because there is literally no instructions for this game. But I did figure it out. <laughs> nope. Is the button not working? I thought the button was... Oh, maybe... No, no, no. The button isn't isn't part of it. There's no button. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now it's trouble. Wizard. Oh, uh, Tietfo says, which is better, steerable bullets or not? I like the steerable bullets. Um, obviously it makes it harder without the steerable bullets, so if you're really good with the steering. Do you want a hint? Oh, you almost got it. Oh, you almost got it. <laughs> but not quite. Nope. You got the right idea, but then you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> The only, <laughs> there's one thing in this whole room you have not touched. Well, two things. Oh, uh, oh, thing. oh, and you have to use a button, I think. Yeah. There, you now you're getting it. Oh, no, I think you do have to press it. Don't hold it down. Oh, fiery, fiery pit. Okay, try again. Okay, try the other ones up top. There you go. Okay, now you're on your way. No, it's not that one. There you go. Yay! Yay! You figured it out. Oh, okay. Hooray! Level one done.
Darcy, which did you like better, the steerable bullets or not? Um, uh, they're both fine. <laughs> they're both fine. Just no, different, really. different in their own way. It, yeah, they're different in their own way. And for two players, steerable was better. Right. Oh, and Tietfos typed in your... He's been very helpful today. Um, typed in your yeah. uh, address there. And did you figure out which episode James is on? Oh, <laughs> Why are you so embarrassed? You're literally on a show right now. Being yes. embarrassed about being on another show. That's totally embarrassing. <laughs> I can't because I can't remember what I said. You're like a I pretty said. girl who doesn't want attention. Stop! Just don't, stop! Just don't! Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bottom, middle. Oh my god! Now there's six of them. Oh no! This is the type of game that I am not good at. What do you mean not good at? You just do the thing. <laughs> Memorization. You're not this and maze games. Oh, mm. no. You burnt. You're burnt. burnt. You're dead. Oh, and you have to start over again. Yep. Did somebody find it? Somebody found it. Episode six: How to make entrance or beg. How to make entrance? How to make an entrance or beg for an exit? Oh, yeah. I try. <laughs> we have seven random things. <laughs> and I sometimes detect a theme. Yeah. Are they always funny? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Seven things that might be funny when you to discuss them. <laughs> Seven things that we thought were funny At before, the time. Before, before we did them on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You had to be there. Seven things that were funny when you were there at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's my face when I when I'm checking my phone messages and <laughs> Uh, I don't know if this game is great. Uh, you already knew that wasn't it. Oh, did I? <laughs> Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Because it is trial and error. Uh, and random. It trains you to dodge. <laughs> it's a good dodging training game. Most of the fun comes from figuring out how to play it, <laughs> yes. not from yeah. playing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys are probably familiar with uh, the Raiders of the Lost Ark Atari game. Uh, yes. And how I, terrible it was. I, I never had a manual for it, so that's no. why it's terrible, because it's so obtuse. It's yeah. like, even with the manual, it's hard. You had to be at a specific spot, yeah. uh, in a specific part of the screen, yeah. with a specific... Okay, that's it, was it like for this the, game. It was like the J.J. <laughs> Abrams Oh, you press the button three games. times, S. Ramirez. Uh, funny equals ha-ha, boop, 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 or funny equals strange or odd. Yeah. Yeah, there's different definitions yeah. for funny. Like, that's funny. That's really funny uh, that happened. My neighbor was burying something in his yard. <laughs> in the middle of the night. Yeah, and his wife's out of town. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't returned. That's what? Yeah. So now we're going to be playing Pirate... Uh, and this is Pirate Special Edition, and what makes it special is I don't know because he didn't explain it well in the forums. He says there's more color, and here's a link for. Oh wait, uh, should I be in the Phantom one or uh, in Pirate? No, 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 Pirate Special Edition. Okay, that's what you picked. Yeah, because the because the the Phantom one had this. Yes, but it's it not was an special earlier, edition. It was an earlier. It's version. the not special edition. It's not special. <laughs> it's the non-special. Unspecialized edition. Before they added in more uh, creatures into the background. Okay, I'm going to win now. Oh! Oh! So I'll let you add it. Um, backstory. Once there was an evil pirate named Up Chuck Leduck. Oh my god. You oh, I didn't realize I was playing. You were actually playing. I thought I was picking... You've done 21 moves. 22 moves. Uh, he raided many ships and coastal settlements, ad amassing a large fortune. Immediately after burying it on a small island, he was betrayed by his crew. Stabbed from behind, with his dying breath, he cursed all those who coveted his treasure. Stepping from the shadows of the jungle, the voodoo priestess who lived on the island smiled and cast a spell on Leduc's corpse and his evil parrot. Faced with the, with the sight of Leduc, 
Uh, suddenly rising up and staring at them with unnatural eyes, the crew fled in terror to their ship. As they attempted to sail away, a mysterious storm appeared out of nowhere and sank the ship. Years later, Rip. Uh, years later, <laughs> upon hearing the tale from the sole survivor of Leduc's crew, who managed to swim to another island, you resolve to claim the treasure for yourself. As your ship enters the water near the island, bizarre-looking clouds appear on the horizon. The crew takes this to be an ill omen and refuses to step foot. You set forth in a long boat with a handful of your bravest crew and rest and oh the rest remain anchored a safe distance away. As you draw near the island a strong gale war rolls in. The long boat sinks and your companions are sucked down into Davy Jones' locker. Your ship is pushed far out to sea. You wash ashore with nothing but the clothes on your back. Can you find the treasure? Beware the bony cor corpse of Leduc still roams, which killed you, I believe, uh, the island looking to protect his treasure. The island is a 7x7 seven seven grid. You know, I'm thinking that treasure is going to be the last thing on your mind. <laughs> you need fresh water. You yeah, need food. To eat. Yeah, shelter. Uh, shelter. Shelter, yeah. yeah. I got all that stuff, though. I got a sword and a shovel. Did you? And okay. I got some sort of flower. Yeah. And yeah, okay. some things that look like weeds and a house. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so the shelter, and I don't know about water. I'm not sure if I got water. Okay. One of those icons might have been water. The, yeah. They, and then I found a skeleton friend, and then he killed me because. But there are there's, skeletons he didn't aren't feel, friends. He didn't <laughs> feel the same way about me as I did about him. There is vegetation on the island, so there is some sort of rainfall. Is there any vegetation? That, yeah, I mean stuff that grows in the ocean, but stuff that is on land that can do fine with uh, seawater. Some, some things, water, but not very things. many things. Mostly it's the stuff in the ocean. Like mangroves. 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 Mangroves? Mangoes? Mangroves. Man trees. Man you know mangrove oh, yeah, trees? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And, um... They border willows. a lot of islands. Willows. Oh, no, those are fresh I think water. they like fresh. fresh. That's right. But willows are the mangroves of the fresh water. <laughs> <laughs> the game display is divided into a window on the left and the overview on the right. No. Yes, okay. Uh, your starting location and the location of everything is randomly generated. At the start of every game, the topography of the island, however, remains constant. This should help you get your bearings on the outset of playing after playing a few games. Okay. So that's the treasure. It is. Uh, it's a 7x7 seven seven grid. Uh-oh. Oh. Is that the voodoo priestess? Rip. Uh, the color of the window itself and the display on the right are used to indicate which items you are carrying. The color scheme is as, f as follows. Gray is you're carrying nothing. Blue, you've got the shovel. Yellow, you've got the sword. So get that sword. Uh, you can only have one thing at a time. Uh, That's why oh, I Oh, no, died. no. Green oh. uh -huh. is both sword and shovel. Oh, okay. So there you go. The color of the display inside the window reflects your What health. does that mean? Do we know yet? Um, things you will encounter. Shovel, sword, flower, snakes. Oh, the hut? Snakes. There are three snakes on the island. Like most real snakes, they won't bother you if you don't bother what, them. What it, However, oh, they the may skeleton. or may not be on top of something you may need. So you have to pick up the snake to see if there is something there. Uh, use joystick control your character. You can fight by hitting the fire Ooh, button. Flower. You can always have the option of retreating by moving away in a valid direction, although there may be consequences. The snake? Yeah, so pick it up. Nothing underneath it. Oh, so. shovel. Good. Snakes have one hit point each. They're also the easiest enemies to land a hit on. The Voodoo Priestess has between two and four hit points. Leduc has between two and five hit points. Hey, I have the shovel. Can't I dig? Yep. Uh, no, you don't have the shovel. You're gray. You have nothing. You didn't oh, pick it up. I did. Uh, it says otherwise. Yeah, but I think the skeleton like beat me down. Oh, or something. that could be it. Oh, there's a possibility that the shovel's in the hut. Uh, when you pick it up, Leduc will sense the danger to his treasure and rush to, rush to protect it. So you have to get to the X as quickly as possible when you get the shovel. That's what I did immediately. And you did make it there, but you lost the shovel somehow. Something took it from you. Uh, the, the skeleton. So he raced there and, uh, <laughs> and then I ran away. Uh, uh, you can run away by pressing to the left. Because you don't have the sword, do you? Did I you? do. Oh, okay. But it's probably easier to run away. Oh, you got hit a bunch of times. You're red. I just wanted to interject that before yep. when I said friends, that wasn't true. I do have more than one friend. <laughs> you wanted to clarify and, that um, point for the audience? One one of my friends is having a tough day, so I'm just giving some support by text message. So I'm, I apologize for being rude and being on my phone. I'm not just Did you checking use, out a board uh, on Did you use helpful emojis? 
like supportive emojis poop emojis no <laughs> no sorry <laughs> i didn't even think about that that would have been coincidental we're not very... in high school these are these are legit adult problems <laughs> yes <laughs> adult problems <laughs> these are legit grown-up problems yeah um but i'm okay so. okay you're okay i'm okay everybody's okay Darcy's okay the color scheme at the bottom Green is you have three hit points, yellow you have two, red you have one, and you die in the next hit. Oh, you're back up to three. Did you get up to three? Did you get a flower or something? I just got a flower. Why, why would I go in the hut? Um, The hut. Hit the fire button to enter exit. It doesn't... Oh, the shovel might be in the hut. That's oh. why. And But you're going to... Can you... You can't escape. You have to... Oh. Oh, the shovel was in the hut. There you go. The voodoo priestess, she lives in the tiny hut on the island. If you enter the hut, you'll be trapped. Your only option is to fight your way out. Oh. If you manage, I'm you digging. don't have the shovel. Oh, because I ran into the skeleton. You can't run from the skeleton. When oh, you, you when steals you have the shovel. it. If you manage to kill her, all the snakes in the island will return to their holes. Oh, boy. So killing the priestess is good, but not good at the same time. Well, it shouldn't be good to kill a priestess. No. It's good because she might have the shovel, but it's bad because all the snakes come back. I don't have anything right uh, now. Where? Oh, Leduc. His animated corpse roams the island with only one purpose, to protect the tre treasure. He will not attack you unless attacked. But he will hinder your movement. Upon ent encountering him, you will only have the option of going back the way you came or fighting. If you're covering the shovel and run away... If you're carrying the shovel and run away from him, he will steal the shovel. He is a pirate, after all. Yeah. Uh, and, I've always run into him when I get the show. And he'll give it to his equally undead parrot. The parrot will deposit it somewhere else in the island. So did you win yet? No, because the, oh. see, every time I get the shovel, you run uh, into I the... run into him. And I've either run away from him or he's killed me. So I've got... And I've had oh, him. he steals your sword, too. Yeah. He steals your, all your things. Oh, my God, dead. I don't know if I want to fight the snakes yet. I didn't know uh, earlier on. I was just... Getting lucky with the snakes, I guess, because I was pressing the button and picking them up right away. There we go. Got the sword. And I guess it's better to fight him because he'll steal your sword. No, it's better to not and die. I'm dead. Oh, you got him. I almost died. But you killed him. Which is good. Is that permanent? Um, I hope. I would think so. Cause would otherwise... you? He's a skeleton. He's already. Well, I've destroyed he's his already bones. Ignored death. I've smashed his bones to bits. And now there's really no threat on the island. Except you, your threat. Ooh. Oh! Now I'm good. Do you know where the X is? No. And but do you outside. know he's dead? Because I think that you're screwed. I think I'm not. It doesn't say. I'm just going to traverse the whole the island. wonder if the snake is uh, under... There's the hut. It could be under... Oh! I yeah. do need that. There you go. Might be under the snake. Yeah, I bet it is. Oh! There it is! All right. Yes. All right. Oh, and the boat. Oh, they're coming for me. They're only coming for me because I have the treasure. Oh, they're coming to kill you and make you the new skeleton. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for getting the treasure for us. <laughs> you have to beat it now. Why? Because it takes 30 seconds to beat. What? I don't If you do games. it right. I don't... Th uh, you learned from my actions. Don't act like you're... All I did it <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I got a sword. Makes me feel very tough. Rawr. Got the sword. Good. Uh, I swear. I swear I. Screw it. Oh, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> that was very, very quick. Hooray! We did it! <laughs> now Tamara has to win. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, okay. So. We played the three games. We did. On that uh, multi-cart thing. So we're going to move on 
to the deep. Wait, know. we played air and ground, except it wasn't the ground you were talking about. We played air and water. Yeah, it wasn't the ground I was talking about. But it air wasn't the ground or the water. It was uh, both, really. It well, we're going to the play theme. the water next. But really. we were on a pirate on an island. There's some water involved with pirates oh, and also ground. A little ground. bit. A little bit. We got it, the water at the end. I guess. And the airplane one had water too, because you were looking down at the water. It was an overhead view. That's over true. midway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, press the button. This is my job. I press the button while James clicks resets. Reset. Yeah. That's why I'm here. It's, it's the only reason he needs. He needs. I need a second person for that. <laughs> um, so this is the deep uh, released in 2015 by Ed Riley, aka Wink Dot. Uh, this. Let me switch it over. Ooh. Uh, other games he's made Alien Pinball, Cows, The Deep, Doom Patrol Orb, Shark, Jaws Plus and you can download this in the Atari Age forums oh and the last game is actually available in the Atari Age store to buy if you'd like to buy it um, this build is from September 3rd 2015 uh, and it says uh, oh you can start playing it's not I too did. complicated I did but uh... <laughs> Uh, I took a break from Alien Pinball, and there will be oh, no update this week. Instead, we have The Deep, created by using oh. Batari and the DCP Plus kernel. Having created your own one-man personal sub with patent pending Hydro Torpedoes, oh. you set out to explore the waters and collect, collect deep-sea like treasures. It's like but down. <laughs> Instead of up. Oh! I, I don't know if you, I can handle that. You press the button. Down. You press the button, okay. and then you're that purple thing. Do I <laughs> shoot tap. things? Uh, you can. Any attention. You can. To the oh, I'm just trying to get through. Ah! Yep. Yep. Trying now to that get was the right noise. See, nobody <laughs> even told her that you're supposed to do that when you die. Yeah. Well, obviously, I'm gonna keep playing it. Oh, there you go. Game over. Just uh, press the button and do it again. Okay. Yeah. Just like in life. It's like uh, the the quarters come out of your bank account automatically. That's right. We've already <laughs> tied it into your bank account. Uh, it's uh, uh, microtransactions. Yeah. Uh, only problem is the treasures are guarded by sea drones, placed there by a mysterious and extremely wealthy madman who lacks the sub-technology to collect the treasures for himself. So you're, you're a hired, hired, hired gun to go get the treasures. And you're, you're still there, so yeah. Okay. Oh, I see, it's treasure. like endless... No, you're so close! Try again. Uh, you have unlimited hydro torpedoes to destroy the sea drones, but only a limited amount of oxygen. Your oxygen indicator is located on the bottom right screen. So there it is on, it's red. Uh, and your lives are on the left. There's the treasure. Yay! Yum, yum, yum. Now what? Back, back up. You're oh. running out of oxygen. Oh. You still got a bunch left, but. Oh, right. It's, Somewhere it's under going. the sea. Uh, your oxygen sensor. That one bounced off of you, eh? What? It's like, it almost looked like it dodged you. Oh! Damn! Yeah! Oh! oh. I got what? What happened? I thought it was because done. Because the guy was right along the top. Oh, my lord. And he hit you. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're going to die immediately after you start. Oh, no, it moved. Good. Okay. Hey, everything's faster now. Level two. Um, when you're low on oxygen, an alarm will sound. After level one, when you near the treasure, the CZ drone will be sent to destroy you. Beware mm. your hydro torpedoes will not stop it. Nobody has used the torpedoes yet. The torpedoes. I think they're shooting left torpedoes? and right. But not straight up and down. Only left and right. Uh, after level three, a boat will appear on the treasure retrieval uh, screen. Avoid it when breaking yeah. to the surface. Yeah. Joystick controls the sub in eight directions. <laughs> Joystick left like and right. Directions. Fire buttons. Fires hard, uh, ah. hydro torpedoes. Each drone ah. is worth 100 points. You don't... Do you get points for the gold? Oh, you got oh. it. Oh, that's helpful at the top. That's actually... Did you get yeah. the gold? How do you get out? Oh, there... I did. I you got the gold. just helped you out okay. of the water there. Ah, uh, ah, each treasure ah. successfully retrieved is a thousand points. So, oh, it goes back to the bottom. Uh, oh, no. What is it? Just flying This around. is the game over. Okay. Oh, yes, it is a flying treasure. <laughs> <laughs> is that the treasure? That is. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's supposed to be like some sort of jellyfish. Successful treasure retrieval renews your oxygen supply. Anytime uh, you're at the surface, your oxygen is renewed. Also, this move your sub to the next treasure dive. Each treasure dive is deeper and more dangerous. You have three subs, and there are five treasure dives. So there's an end to this game. Avoid any obstacles with your sub. You must explore the depths, collect the ah. treasures, and return to the surface without being destroyed. 
Like that parachute game from the last time. Similar, but the parachute game you can't stop. You can only go left and right, mm. and there's gravity. Because you're, yeah. You're parachuting. This one you can go up, down, any yeah. direction. But it's similar, because the parachute game, there's stuff coming both from both sides. But you couldn't shoot them in that game. What? So oh, 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 no! I, w I went away because I, I forgot that it was deeper. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're like, whoa, watch out for that hey. dude! He's on level two. Oh, a little bit of screen shutter there. Whoa, that was close. Oh! <laughs> see, the, see, you did it right. Ah! Ah! Treasure time. Get the treasures. Yeah, see, he, he moves with minimal movement. Yeah, no panic. Yeah. No panic needed. Cool. Calm, collected. Cool and calm, like a... All those words like that go assassin. together all the time. That's right. Like an ass? That's not nice. Like ass, ass in. <laughs> yeah. Ass, ass out. Whoa, whoa! Ah! What? What? That guy <laughs> came out of nowhere. Unfair. <laughs> Two deaths in a row. It's just how it is. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes you want to show up your two friends that don't know what they're doing, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> nope. And then they get to laugh at you and say, ah. suck it. Ah. You had a good strategy worse. there. I, I see what oh. you were trying to do. I'm going to die because I died immediately. I'm going to die in purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I, need my, I need my lives for level two. So pessimistic. There's only seven levels, but I don't think we're going to make it. It's so hard on level two already. Because there's a guy that comes after you with purpose. No, he doesn't. It's random. Yeah? Yep. You're attributing uh, your bad luck to... Uh, <laughs> Intelligence. Fate. <laughs> fate. Fate? No. Ah! See, he's just doing crisscrossing. He doesn't... Oh, it makes yes. it harder. Well, it makes it possibly easier, but it's like... Oh, if he was true. coming... <sighs> Yeah. It's the death noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when it's a particularly terrible death, it's like, ah! Yeah. You gotta be just more reckless and go ah! straight down there. Yep, and just do it. Just yeah. Don't. Ah. Just don't be be unaware that your doom is near. <laughs> uh, doom is near. And it's good to stop before the next screen. Because... No, just they keep going. Anywhere. No. Just go hard. No. Because so you can run right into them. No. That Doesn't guy happen. needs to go away. I, my Almost. bullet was there. Yeah. there were two, this is a two parachute situation. <laughs> uh, exactly. Both died equally. Level one. Not a problem. Level two, big ramp up. Oh, okay. That's what happens whenever James starts talking trash. That's right. He's like, oh, no problem, dead. Easy. <laughs> easy. So easy. It's impossible to die in level one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how easy You're it is. You're double jinxing yourself now. Yeah, which it equals out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, ah. What? What happened there? Nothing, nothing even nothing bumped into you and killed you. <laughs> yeah. It must have, but I didn't. Some of the, some of the non-player pixels bumped into the player <laughs> pixel, and then the player pixel died. I believe that's what happened. Run, run, just run, run as fast. Seriously. <laughs> Got him to level three. Pathetic. It does seem like there should be a safe space at the top of each <laughs> level because otherwise, yeah, um, it's just random whether or not you survive. Isn't that the tagline for this game? Unless... There's no safe space. <laughs> There's no safe space. <laughs> unless, like unless, uh, which is what I think, that the information on this level carries on over to the next one. So. It seems to a little bit. Oh, God. Terrible. Terrible! Whoa, whoa! Also, I think you get points for shooting them. You do, but 
so much trouble shooting. Oh, it's just that I shot one and got a hundred points, and so I had a score of eleven hundred. See? Well, if you shoot the one that's at the bottom, then it won't kill you when you come back up. Nope. Or it, They're all there again. It'll respawn? Okay. Yeah, ah, sorry. so infinite points on level one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could, actually. You could just keep shooting them and getting oxygen over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. uh, you could just do this. Oh. Sassy. <laughs> if you had skills. Yeah. Which I do <laughs> not. Also, as... it's best to do it on level 1, not level 2. <laughs> it's way too fast. Way too fast on level 2. No, just run. Ah, ah, the angles. The angles are terrible. They're terrible. <laughs> it's 26 degrees Celsius in this room, by the way. <laughs> yes, it is. Which actually makes everything you do that much more impressive. Hooray! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Still, you got a top score of 2,500. Technically, I made it to level three. So I'll do one more. And in Fahrenheit, that is one million degrees. Yes, one our audience is degrees. American. Yeah. Like 95% And, and also German. And yeah. Uh, other. Yeah, and other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what other. Um, See, I went through school when we were sort of switching, so I what? I don't know. Aren't there some, I have no yeah. concept of what the temperature is from, from a number. <laughs> from numbers It's to only number. recently that we have a digital... Oh, from a number. From a, that we have a digital uh, thermostat in our house, and now I'm like, oh, 26, so that's too honestly, hot. Honestly, that that's is, the I same. don't like that. It's the same for me. <laughs> right. I have so yeah, much better. I don't know what it means. I have a yeah. much better understanding of of what temperature. I used to think 25 was way too hot, but it depends. In the summer, 25, yeah. it, you kind of acclimatize, and it ain't no big deal. It depends yeah. on the humidity. Mm, uh, mm -hmm. A lot. It depends on the humidity, but it also depends on that's if you've like been out in the sun. Extra humid in here. And that whether or not better. you've uh, acclimatized to like the heat. It's 26 degrees in here and Cause the temperature is moist. <laughs> <laughs> it hangs in the air. Yeah, we're so near the ocean. <laughs> we are. We really are. Because um, I, when I was in Texas recently, it was very humid. Oh. Um, but it was around mid-30s? So it was almost unbearable. Yeah. And I've been in Phoenix, Arizona, mm. when it was 50 degrees. Yeah. And it was it was unbearable as well, like yeah. almost death. Yeah. But if it was but it was zero. But it was dry. It was super 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 yeah. dry. And if it was 50 and humid in in Texas, you'd be just you'd yeah. die. Yeah. Um. Because your body would overheat and. Here. Done? Done. Done. Okay. Good, but hard. It, it ramps yeah, yeah. up <laughs> really, really hard. But not in a I'm complaining about it way. 25 is 77. I don't think That's it is. That's perfect. Mm, I invite I... you to come here and sit on this couch under the yeah. hot lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have studio oh, lights also, in here. Also, where is I supposed to? Uh, that, yeah, exactly. Because if you are, that's what I'm saying, is that it's European. when we're, when we're at home, well, this is a nice sometimes, temperature outside in the sunshine. Sometimes nice. oh, we're yes. at home in the shade and the I look up and it's 26 and I'm like, why am I not dying? And sometimes yeah. it's 28 and I feel like I am dying. Yeah. It kind of depends on what you're doing too. Time for a robot tank. Let's see if this cartridge works. Whoa. First time. Whoa. Wow. That mm. is really good. Oh, I died. Okay. This is... Oh, I got it. Oh, no, I suppose it's in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Oh. Where all the chocolate comes from. So, we're doing... Yeah, suck it! <laughs> suck it, enemy tanks! You're gonna die! This is uh, a patch challenge. Uh, this is a game by Matt Alan Miller from 1983. It's an 8K game. Uh, other games, other 2600 games he made, Surround, Hunt and Score, Hangman, yeah! Basketball, uh, for the Atari, uh, let's see. Of course I'm doing good at this. I'm a tanker. Checkers, uh, Tennis, Ice Hockey, Star Master, and Robot Tank. 
And oh, I think I died. Your V is six. gone. No, you didn't oh. die. Oh, I died. You have four things it can take out. What happened? Um, there's different things. I know R is radar. We'll get to the... C is like... I don't know. Your treads? Oh, oh, C took out something. Uh, the three patches are uh, 48... How many tanks do I have to kill before I get to declare victory? 48. What? Oh, you get 12 before you get to the next level. And you've got... Oh, rain's coming. <laughs> Nobody cares. I'm in a tank. <laughs> That's true. That's I just, true. Just keep the hatch closed. That's right. Close the hatch! But the rain's coming. You've got about 10... 10 tanks? Now you have 10 tanks. So you got two more till the next level. Oh, now your V and C are gone, whatever those are. Um, so let's go to the manual and figure those out immediately, because those now your V, C, and T are gone. T is turret. Great death screen. By Switching the way. to reserve. Oh, reserve tank. Reserve I tank. was like, I didn't run out of fuel. <laughs> <The reserve. laughs> oh, your radar is gone. Um, the bullets that are coming for you are work on the principle of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, did you make it? Almost. One more. Where if you don't see the bullet, it doesn't hurt you. <laughs> so if it goes off your screen, you're one away from getting to the next level. One away. You did it! Enemy squadron defeated. Bonus. One tank. All right, because I was using up all my spare ones. Yes. V is video. Your view of the battlefield blanks out periodically. So you don't want that to go away. C is your cannons. Cannons will never go out completely, but when damaged, don't count on them firing at all times. R is radar scan inoperative. You must depend on your video to fix enemy position. T is treads are damaged. Mobility is brought mm. to a crawl. Movement is all in, almost entirely frozen in the snow. I think I stopped... After the level changed over, I think I stopped moving. Like, I stopped pressing forward on the joystick. Mm. I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so read from the top, and you can skip over how to ins how to put the cartridge into the slot. What? What if people don't know? Well, if they don't know by now... There's Warning! Time. Official orders! Code name: Robot Tank. From the Office of the President. <laughs> <laughs> the Office of the President? President Atari. <laughs> Our tanks are just excellent. They're just the greatest. We have the best tanks. We have the best tanks. Oh, I mean, that's true. So it, well, it is true. It's the sort of thing he wouldn't say. <laughs> uh, greetings. As you well know, sophisticated enemy robot tanks are quickly advancing across country. Firing at will and stopping at nothing. You must command your own robot tanks to stop their yeah. charge of chaos. Avoid being hit by enemy fire or your robot tanks may be destroyed. The rebels are currently headed towards downtown Santa Clara. Only you can stop them. Good luck! Santa Clara? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Gameplay. Hook up your video game system. No. Follow no. the manufacturer's instructions. With the power off, no. plug in the game cartridge. Turn power on. If no picture appears, check it and turn off your game system to TV. <laughs> then repeat steps one to three. I think we got that. Plug joystick into left controller port only. This is a only. solo mission, uh, soldier. Oh, they do have some fun in things in the instructions. The game select switch and difficulty switches are not used, so do not touch them. Don't. Don't even try. <laughs> don't even look at those. Oh, it'd be helpful if everyone else can see us playing. They couldn't see my victory? Nope. Oh my god. Here, let's see. We'll have to monitor the chat. <laughs> James needs a show producer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> He's supposed to be the show producer. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. So, not. just to be clear... Darcy made it to this. I made it to the level And I think two. you killed it. But I didn't have that many tanks left. No, you I got did a very well tank. until the last tank. Uh-oh. Oh, I can still read the stuff. Use of joystick controller. Hold joystick controller with red fire button in the upper left position. I don't have a red fire button. What do oh, I do? Oh, well, whatever fire button you have. <laughs> Move joystick left to maneuver and or aim your robot tank left. Move joystick right to maneuver and or aim your robot tank right. Oh my god. 
Push joystick forward to roll your robot tank forward. Pull joystick back to retreat or to back up. Retreat. Never. Let's just call it back up. Never Why? retreat. Why do we call it retreat? That's just... exactly. It Hold. could be very tactical to go backwards. Press the red fire button or whatever color your fire button is. <laughs> it's black. <laughs> to shoot your Oh, uh, I got hit. At rampaging oh, I got robots. hit again. Or at nothing. You don't have to shoot them at the rampaging robot. You can shoot them wherever you want. Hold button down to, to continuous fire. Oh. To begin play, press game reset switch. Scoring. A small tank appears at the top of your screen for each enemy robot tank you destroy. Or any tank you destroy. There will only be enemy robot tanks available for destruction. Mm -mm. Yes. But any tanks you destroy get you points. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, I need my nice tank nice. repaired. <laughs> A square with the number 12 appears at the top Jeez. of your screen each time a squadron of 12 enemy robot tanks are destroyed. Reinforcements. You begin with one active robot tank and three reserves. Your reserve robot tanks begin operation in perfect condition. <laughs> you, earn ro you earn one bonus robot tank for every enemy squadron destroyed. The maximum number of bonus robot tanks allowed at any one time is 12. End of game. You may lose your robot tank when it is hit by any enemy rocket fire. Your video scrambles with static interference when this happens. Some hits may only damage your tank. See damage sensors and special features. Game ends when all your robot tanks are destroyed or all 12 enemy squadrons are destroyed. Ah, that seems unfair. You have to kill 144 tanks. <laughs> what? Oh well, 12 enemy squadrons. That's a lot of 12 tanks. 12 tanks per squadron. Your tank doesn't get repaired either between uh, yeah, the levels. So I had a There's no broken mercy. tank. Ah! It was a direct hit and killed me immediately. Your electronic eye. Your robot's electronic eye lets you view the battlefield from a remote control station. That's why I died so quick after the first uh, wave, because I just forgot to move. That, <laughs> that would be an issue. Yeah. <laughs> I was turning, but ah. not avoiding it. Uh, your electronic eye. Your remote tank's electronic eye lets you view the battlefield from a remote control station. Perspectives are real. The size of the enemy robot tanks and their fire increases on your remote screen. And their fire increases on your remote screen as they get dangerously close. 24 hours a day, from the first glimmer of sunrise beyond the gray dusk and into darkened night, the enemy attacks relentlessly. For you, sleep becomes a distant memory. The military <laughs> clock counts the hours and the days can be used as a tool for strategy. See tips from the element. Oh, can we pause the stream? <laughs> uh, it's someone's mom. By everybody just... Uh, it's, it's always mom. <laughs> My mom-in-law. Yeah. Yeah. Pausing the screen, stream yeah. is not possible. <clears throat> mom, I'm, I'm playing a game. Get out of my room. I'm gonna go talk. After. Right now, she's no! calling. No! She's calling to talk to us. Okay, so, okay, leave me alone here. She's being, she's being supportive. I've done it before. Oh, what? Yeah. <clears throat> so I need 12 more tanks to get my patch. What is, what is, what just happened there? <clears throat> like he shot immediately. It just must be this level is... No, it's... Oh! Level is snow, so... Oh, am I done the snow? Thank God. Of course, my radar's out. No. I'm go the opposite way. One last tank. How many have I killed? One. That's just for the first patch. It's still a little slippery. A thing. Sometimes you can hit them with just the radar. He's not even firing at me, which I am totally fine with. What? Seriously, on level four, they kill you immediately? <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is for the Activision patch. This is not homebrew. This is from 1983. Sorry, I was. Breathing water, and I don't have uh, gills. <clears throat> so I made it really close for my first game. 
I came within nine tanks. But level day four, I guess that's how it is. Day four is a lot harder. A lot, lot harder. So really, I should just not. I don't know how I'm going to ever get the patch, the, the big patch, because there's three patches. One is 48 tanks, which is four days. The other one is 60. Oh, God. 60, I think, is the next one, and then 72. Oh. So maybe I can get the first patch today. Seemingly after the first level, there is no the nice conditions that you get to play in. It's either dark or snow immediately. Where is this guy? There we go. <clears throat> to read the, read the chat. This game seems better than Battlezone. More like a light sim feel. I missed uh, this one as a kid. Dig it. I mean, it's very good. And the graphics are incredible. I mean, it's Activision, right? But, I mean, um, Battlezone's graphics are amazing, too. Of course, it's all dark now. Oh, God. It's not really points in this game. It's just, just tanks. <laughs> just tanks. You get one point per tank. And it's up at the top. You can see how many tanks you've got. And then every 12, uh, it gives a little 12 symbol because you can't fit any more tanks on the screen. It doesn't. Uh, mostly I'm shooting by radar because you can't see anything. Just luckily hitting their missiles, kind of thing, I guess. Shells, not missiles. The bullets, I guess. God. But it's hard, because you can't see the bullets, and you have to kind of just... ...see where they're shooting. Yeah, when the radar goes out, it is not a fun time. I mean, when any of them go out. Video going out, not too bad. Is going out not good at all. T, your tracks, death. You just instant death. You can't move. So the first shot they shoot at you, you're dead. Come on. Ah. There we go. How many more? One more? Oh, I'm on day two. I'm not. The D2 is just like actual days. You're just taking a long time. Oh, got him right away. Oh, no. On the snow, it's all slippery. This is terrible. I mean, you get to see. No, 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 no. You get to see, but at least their bullets disappear when you hit them. Day two, ninth hour, I'm guessing. Yes. You can kind of time it up as you turn. If you're good at... Uh, oh, that is the least worst one to go out, really. Is, none of them are good. Oh, no. Can't move. Go back. Just have to keep firing. Hopefully I'll hit something and get an extra. <clears throat> Day two. It's too bad. I think I did better last time with the lives. Maybe not. The snow is the killer one. Just because you can't evade their bullets is really the hardest part. That's really, I mean, that's the only way you really die, is getting hit by the bullets. So the snow really impedes your ability to uh, evade those bullets. <clears throat> there we go. It's a lot of just firing and praying here. And 
keeping them on the center of your radar. Oh, good, the sun's coming up. Three, yeah, that makes sense. Third day, sixth hour. So it kind of goes in real time. Accelerated real time. So it's better to get them when they're sideways, if you can. But I mean, it's just random here when they turn. They do light up different color when they shoot, which is nice. Art art needs changing. Oh, I can't do that right now. Our house is not built for old people. <laughs> They're not allowed here. It's instant death for them. <laughs> they fall down the stairs. But you're not playing the same one. No. Oh, okay. It's just that you have the same score. Oh, sorry, was I in your way there? Yeah, I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying for a high score here. Extra, serious business. extra hazard, extra challenge. Serious business. It's in my demon nature, obviously. <laughs> yeah, sorry for abandoning you. Yeah, you did. Yeah. But mom, mom calls on the FaceTime. <laughs> Gotta talk to mom. Yeah, that's true. I did pretty good. I was within nine of getting the first patch. And what do you need for the patch? Forty-eight tanks. Forty-eight hit. tanks. That's so that's still that's a substantial number of tanks. So I got thirty-nine. So you're you're a little over halfway now. Oh yeah, you can shoot the bullets. Yeah, it's hard in the snow. But why yeah. is it hard in the snow? Because it you doesn't turn immediately. So it's hard to evade the, the bullets or even shoot the bullets. And at this level, you get you it's death from one hit. It seems. Uh, Mallard Games volunteers to be your producer. <laughs> and uh, Thrust Twenty Six asks, which patch are you aiming for? Well, they are in successive order in this game. So if you earn the last patch, you automatically earn the first and second patch. Because it's all by t number of tanks that you've been able to. So the first patch is 48, the second one is 60, and the last one is 72. There's some, there's some cat grooming happening on cat cam. As long as it's consensual cat grooming, mm -hmm. it's, it's all tasting. good. It's the tasting before the biting. That's usually how it works. Mmm, tasting. No, no, no. It's amazing how all the snow disappears in one second. It's like, nope, all the snow's gone. It melted. Enough snow to make your tank. These tanks are moving very fast, and you just crossed over the uh, border. Ah. Uh. Snowdonia to uh, <laughs> no Snowdonia. <laughs> Yay, one more and I'm at the next stage where it's deadly. Oh good, it's daylight. Okay. You're, Last you're round. Three quarters of the way. And it's daytime, which is good. Because even though I'm gonna go throughout the whole cycle in this. Will you? Yeah. It's a long time. Dagnabbit. Dagnabbit, indeed. <clears throat> I need 12 tanks in this round. So I've tied my last game now. Now you've exceeded your last game. So it's going to do better each game. No! Oh, yes, that's what happened. Right. It did. Oh, come on. You can get it. Oh, no, it's 
And my video is out. I don't need video. You have a uh, radar. And my on cam is out. based on radar. <laughs> and Camo is out? Is that what it's seen? My cannon. So it only fires like every third shot when I press the button. <laughs> or not at all. Or just save it up. Don't press the button constantly. Wait until you're in front of them and then uh, press it. That's the, that's the way I was playing anyway, because I didn't realize you could hold the button now. There we go. So I was six tanks away. You did 42 so the tanks. There. They have rockets because they move so fast. 72 tanks is the top one. What is James aiming for? I'm aiming for 48, which I was six away from. So I'm, if I don't die early, I think I can probably make that first match. So I only needed six more tanks. So nice to your brother? Or are you being terrible? Being brotherly. That covers a lot of faces. I'm being brotherly. Being brotherly. You know, nice sometimes. Teasing next. You can entertain. Yep. Oh, your radars are all out. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. Do not pick him up. Do not Head pick him near the head only. Do not pick him up. Very sensitive on his hips. Oh, my radar is out. I don't think um, I've had radar go out before. Radar out is not the worst because it's not disabling you in any way other than. It is the worst because I, I fight purely on radar. <laughs> yeah. It's really? A, <laughs> it is a very big problem for me. Radar. Uh, I see. Yeah, I mostly use radar. Well, during the day it's not so bad. At uh, at night, it's terrible because you're like, I so he shoots me. No signal, can't see you. It is 26 and a half degrees, and the camera has given up the ghost. It is overheated. What are you doing? Hmm. I'll have to reset it. Rain alert. I'm getting a new camera. Oh. Um, that because this is a picture camera. Yeah. Really? Uh, video so that it, uh, you don't you don't have something that you don't want to I guess your filming cameras are a little too deluxe or... I just don't really have them. Um, so I need to buy a new one. Just filming cameras. Oh. oh no. Oh sorry, you're no, right here. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> or wherever. Um, and filming cameras are meant to be on longer. Yeah. Oh, boo, hiss, boo. Switching to reserve tank. Come here, flurfs. That last tank just really likes to wiggle. <laughs> For service beyond the call of duty, you're eligible to join Activision's tank, tank Corps. If you destroy at least 48 enemy robot <coughs> tanks, four squadrons, then you've earned the Medal of Merit patch. That's what I'm going for. I don't know if I'll ever get the other ones. Maybe I will. I mean, I did pretty good on the first try, so... Succeed... He likes... He likes the, uh... He, he's the allowed Velcro. to num num on that a little? On the Velcro. Okay. He doesn't go for cords. Atari oh, goes yeah. for cords. But only yeah. thin ones. Which includes all the charging cables for phones. Yay! Yeah. Um, succeed in destroying 60 enemy robot tanks, 5 squadrons, and you proudly deserve the Cross of Excellence. Distinguish yourself by destroying 72 enemy robot tanks, 6 squadrons, and your meritus achievement decorates you with the Star of Honor patch. Please send us a picture of your Tour de Force TV screen, and we'll issue the appropriate Tank Corps patch, along with our salute and congratulations. So every um, Friday, I pick an old game. I pick, an old, I pick an old Activision game mm -hmm. and try and get the patch for it. Um, I think I've gotten about five patches so far and achieved the score. <laughs> Radar Real Life is out. Radar Real Life. That's true. Oh. <laughs> That moving snake. Okay. 
Really? You know what? I guess you could evade them during the night. Uh, that, it actually said I that in the rules. <laughs> it said something about you could use this strategically to your advantage something, blah, blah, blah. I think I may do that in the next entire level. Usually if I don't get a patch, I'll abandon the game and come back to it later. later, later. Okay. Oh, gotta look pretty for the camera. Screen, it's not working. Oh, oh. <laughs> the computer screen? Jeez. This. Oh, yes. oh, good luck. Well, I, I did get it in. I just wasn't going to try it. Oh. That's pretty, uh, pretty good. So, what does this do? Uh, it allows me to get a patch. No, I mean. Like, the whole thing. Uh, like when you're having playing, fun. What like is when having you're, fun? Like when you're playing this, you're in a flow state. And like oh, nothing I see. else. You're like, ah, oh, the planet is on fire. Who cares? <laughs> so you just like That's you can just I, forget I can, about it. I can just forget about it for a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it goes as deep. As that. No. <laughs> I think. Uh, oh, I thought he hit me. Yeah. It's just, just fun. Straight up. Fun. So remember. Oh well. You know, uh, dodge in the winter and the nighttime. Sure. Your I'm not really at a high enough. Level. You're at the level, level that previously you started to die a lot. I died a little bit. This is only the second. Oh, you finished the second. You're on the third. That's what I'm saying. Oh, did I? Oh, I am. That's true. That's true. Rain is rain is rain. snow. That's when I'll dodge. Oh, now it's empty. I guess it rains at night. Clears up during the day. This is I kill. I like to watch those shows where they go into people's houses that are messy and they throw stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> and that is definitely therapeutic. That's so definitely my happy At least I'm not place. as bad as them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad, but not as bad as them. Yeah. Um, it's just good to watch it. I like the I like the I like the art. The art. The of, narrative art. It's, it's like, always the same. And those well, lines, you, it's like, you start with start chaos playing. and then you oh. you know emerge into order and. Well, that's true. Yeah. There's definitely a pattern. In this. Yeah. Uh, where they start to help and then they start bringing their stuff back in. <laughs> it's like well, I can't live without this. Ah. Oh. Nighttime. Yeah, those, those oh, shows would probably. It's nighttime. Nighttime's okay. No, it's not. You're dying. Uh, it's know. literally not okay. This is when you started dying last time. Too. Okay. It's only at 21 hours, so let's run. run. What happens when you do you run at a time? Is it... No. Okay. No. It just loops. I, I, I don't know if the tanks get harder because the days progress, or the tanks get harder because you've killed enough of them. I think because it's that probably would... the second. Like, it's suggested that you avoid... Because it, it suggests would... something strategically avoiding the night or something like it, that. It would seem unfair that you just run like this. Why is it unfair? It's war. There's a there's famous saying about all's fair in <laughs> war and also love. That's right. <laughs> It definitely is easier in the daytime. Yo, so I'm 
gonna. And also, you're one. after a patch. You're not just playing the game. You're after a patch, so that's you true. have to take advantage of every opportunity. And Twelve if you more. don't have to, then the patch. Is too easy. Oh yeah. No, what I mean is their choice of score is too easy. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, you don't have to. Definitely to a. It's definitely a good score to choose. Like, this is good. I like watching YouTube videos or comments on other people's YouTube videos. Which are commenting videos? on the other, oh other my ones. God. YouTube Inception, <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is um, But I, I literally, this started because I wanted to set aside time to mm. play these games. So it's like an appointment. Yeah, it's like I have to keep this appointment. Yeah. Um, I've I've set aside this time. People are relying. On the last the few tanks are harder, I think. In a well, in a batch. Oh, it's at twenty two. I'm gonna I'm gonna just avoid them for a bit. Um, and they're faster. But the only thing is, you have to keep them off the screen. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to play the games. I haven't. I hadn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any time to mm -hmm. play them. Um, so I said, okay. I'm going to play them, and I'm going to broadcast it, mm -hmm. um, because nobody's doing a show like this, um, playing just homebrew games. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not playing a homebrew game right now. Most of the games I play are homebrew games. Um, uh, other, not that one. Are other people doing it now? You sort of uh, said it like you were the only one at the time. No, are no. you still the only one? People, a lot of people do a mix. Okay. Of different types of games, so like different some generations, homebrew, some. some not homebrew, yeah. some different platforms um, that are like not Atari 2600s, like they'll do Coleco or Intellivision or Nintendo or like NES. Yeah, but I am You're specialized. completely specialized. <laughs> yeah, which makes it a niche. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get as many views as the latest hotness of. Uh, God, that guy go. was a struggle. What's... Patch! Woo! <laughs> yeah! What's the cryptids game called? It's getting too big. Oh, oh, it's, um... Yes. No. No, it's not. Close. It's close to not. I, that's the name I keep. Oh my god, he just fires it. Okay, I'm gonna wait till... On Dauntless. 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 That's right. Yeah, yeah Dauntless. we have a friend in the industry. He's been on the show once. Um, yeah, he works on. He a, works on Dauntless. Yeah. Dauntless, which is a very big game. It's getting really, really big, big, I hear. Yeah. Yeah. Two o'clock in the morning. Come on. Oh, that's the perfect time for an attack. <laughs> it is. It's when the human entity is at its weakest. <laughs> that is when you attacked. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to attack. He is trying to attack me. At 4 a.m. there's the dawn effect. There we go. Your liver is producing glucose. Uh -huh. So you start you start having some wakefulness. At 4 a.m. is too late for a good attack. <laughs> yeah, 3 is the good the good time. Before 4. 2 is good. 2 is good. Yeah. Well, in the hospital, that's when I won. Oh my god, I can't even get 1. Have I? Have I got no. one on this level? Look, he just rapid fires. You might have to, at this point, uh, memorize what they do. I, the only way... Before you were able to just go, where are they now? I'm going to shoot them now. But you might they might have like patterns now that you need to know about. Well, the only pattern I've recognized is when he's sideways, he doesn't shoot. So if you get him on the screen... My cannons don't work, and I can't see. Not so good. How about the other two? What? The other two? Yeah, you have, to, delete, you have to finish this one, yeah. and then the next... This this one for the next patch, and then the next one for the next patch, I think. Sorry, say again, what? Um, first patch was four of those twelves. Mm -hmm. Then the next patch is five twelves. So I got ten away from the next patch. And then the next patch you earn is at... 72, which is six of them. Six twelves. Mm. So. 
But I did it. I'm not going to embarrass myself further. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, and I'll switch that just for the last second to the actual graphic. There we go. Robot tank. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always good when you actually get a patch on your first time playing it. I know a cat named Tank. Yes, he's a very nice he's cat. Yeah. He'll come up to you and go, bloop, bloop. And then he you does, get to yeah. pet him. You get the tank patch, uh, that tank patch, by daring the belly and <laughs> realizing it wasn't that dangerous. No, it's not dangerous at all. But he is he's a big cat. He could be intimidating looking, but he's not. He, he gives all the nice cat si signs when he approaches you. Hi, I'm a nice cat. <laughs> Um, so, I don't have any games lined up yet for the next episode of the show, which is on Wednesday with Erlen, but um, we do have Robo Mechanic scheduled for October 4th, the day after my birthday. Um, Where are you registered for your birthday presents? Uh, Atari age. <laughs> 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 so, they'll all be, but I'll have... Yeah. He'll, he'll bought all I have the all the games wants. already. <laughs> I have oh, all the ones well. I want. She can buy me ones I don't want. Or ones that no. I'm on the fence of. And I'll play them on the show. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole bunch coming out at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, which is in October. But I'll be there buying them Maybe first new, day. New probably camera, maybe. Before they even open, I'll probably get them all. <laughs> oh, a new camera. But I'll be yeah. getting that soon yeah. as well. Um, I'm not getting you anything for your birthday. Not a new camera? No. I come over and see Just you. acknowledging well, that you exist, that's what you get. That yeah. is a pretty, I will not pretty give good. you birthday bumps. Get, Actually, good. now that I say that, I and really you... want to give you birthday bumps. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> I take it back. That's, that's where we arms, hold you by the arms and like, and like so we bump your butt boom, on the ground. Boom. Or <laughs> you just knee them in the back. No, that's terrible. You can kick that's them in the violent. Butt. No, that's <laughs> Birthday no, bumps that's is any fun. sort of physical abuse. It's any sort of physical abuse. Or one and, punch I for think every yours year. Yours is the most fun. The one you're talking about where you, where, you, where you team together. Yeah, light, you gently drop, you, you bump, yeah, bump the button on the but floor. But that's, that's, the, that's the nice version of, but you get a bunch of jock guys and it always becomes violently whatever it is you were <laughs> Punching doing. Punching them yeah. in the face. Or dropping them hard on the ground. <laughs> yeah, hardwood or concrete. You it's know, like uh, the original right trust up. game, yeah. Oof. Yes. No, but it's it's quite nice. It's quite nice if if your friends do it gently. You feel very no. you feel very loved, no. and it stretches some of your ligaments that haven't been stretched in twenty years. <laughs> of all year. That might not be bad if you just kind yeah. of give it a little tug. Just a gentle. It's like a yeah. chiropractic adjustment. It's like I think I've yeah. lost an inch in the past year. So yeah. you know. And no, it you gives know, that's them the, pro like the problem is real people... workout. A real workout because yeah. holding holding the person oh, up yeah. for. So it's what, good for like, everyone. And what are you, teamwork. 60 now for 60 times? That's, whoa. 60, yeah, getting close. I swear, we wouldn't, <laughs> we wouldn't need to go in for adjustments and massages if we just... Thrust uh, wants to know if yeah. there's been any progress on Balderdash. No, because I've not Boulder played it on the show. Dash. And I don't mm. play, usually don't play games unless I air it. Because why not? If I'm going to play a game, put on the, switch, put on the uh, stream. Um, but yes, yeah, so I will schedule that. Because I need to uh, beat the next level. To, to progress. The next Am I the only really one hard. who's bothered by the cross being uh, non-symmetrical? Mm. Um, mm. They could... I don't know. I think they could have fixed that. They definitely could have made it lower easily. Like, that's that's super simple. People can't see that. Let's show them. Where is my... There it is. Oh, they can see it. I didn't mm -hmm. change it back. Um, yeah, it. they could have easily dropped it down one, which have at least one pixel which made it easier made it better they need to shift it over one which is not quite as easy but um yeah i'll play boulder dash i'll schedule that um uh, for an upcoming show before i go away um because i'll be going away for a couple weeks after the show on the 18th um so i'll be going to portland and la to show my film mm. very exciting so I'll the portland premiere and la premiere um yeah good festival there and then after that we'll be going somewhere else but that's not till late october but so we don't know the timing yet on that it's but just that's too not... much stuff for you to do the show on the road i guess oh no no impossible it's just too much stuff. i mean i could do it but it's just i i have yeah, yeah. i have other things that i'm doing yeah. it's not yeah. that you don't love your loyal yeah. viewers you do i it's do just a lot 
Wow. But I am planning on doing the show at Portland Retro Gaming Expo. In, oh, that's in Portland cool. in October. Yeah. And I'm going to be showing all the new games that are coming out. Okay. That they're selling at Atari Age. That's awesome. Uh, and like actually streaming the show with the camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the camera yeah. will be pointing at a screen because there's no. Yeah. It's too hard to do the video outs and stuff like that. That's nice though, live mm -hmm. from. I could. I need to do the Retron or something. Which well, they'll have their own Atari. Uh, oh, yeah, Atari's yeah, yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could bring my Frame Meister and plug it in through that. Maybe. I'll have to ask Al if he'll spare, spare some um, you have to, plugs. You have to consider the effort and what you get for it. And uh, what I get for it, not as much. But if you point it at the screen and it looks fine, then you don't get anything. So you it might will. as well not bother. Yeah. It'll look totally fine. Yeah. It'll look totally good enough. Stress 26 said, crosshair is made from ball. Uh, oh, does that make it harder? Is that the programming completely made by the ball? Yeah, so the programming has a ball and two players and a play field, right? Yep, and two missiles. And two missiles. So that whole thing, the gray, all the gray stuff, is made by a ball, and it can the ball can be one pixel wide, two, four, and eight. Hmm. So. Oh, the so it can't, the top be, and the bottom it can't are, be because it's it's even numbers and therefore you can't make it. Or you still could. Um, yeah, you totally could. And you can but readjust the ball smaller, anywhere bigger. on the screen, it right be, and left. It would uh, have to be one bigger, one smaller. No. That was the size they wanted. The, uh, the one to, like, definitely going yeah. down, it's one. Like, that straight line is yeah. a one pixel. I'll put it back on the screen for people. Um, and then that's, like, a four. Yep. Uh, is it a four? No, it's like an eight. I don't know how they did the side by side. They must have done use something. Is it else. only the cross? The lines above and below are not. No, because they're sixteen wide. Yeah. The ones uh, at the top and the bottom. Mm. I think they could have adjusted it, but maybe not. Maybe there's some yeah. other complication yeah, that there's even, not enough time. If it's even, then they wouldn't be able to. Oh, it's one always one off. Yeah. So it's never that's an odd true. number. So that's why. Yeah. yeah. It's the reason that it's that way is because it's a ball. Because the. Yeah. And that's how it is. Um, but vertically, is that in the middle? No, I, I, think I don't think off. it is. I think it's one off. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Of course, it's going to be one off yeah. in both directions. Yeah. Um, so they may have been able to fix that to make, make it a little bit better. Well, it's funny. I, I didn't anyway. see it that way. Now mm. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. right? Perception. Once you're playing, it's like, uh, it doesn't matter. You're no. right in the game. Yeah. But it's yeah, interesting. Yeah. And a lot of the time, you don't even have that crosshair because it's at night. <laughs> so it's totally useless. Um... Oh, yeah, so I want to thank all the people for tuning in today and watching me get my next patch. I'm very happy about that. Where's my... Where is it? Oh, no, it's gone again. What the hell? Let's bring that back up. Oh, that's not going to help at all because it won't have the history. Um, so let's see if there's a page up or you can use the scroll on the right-hand side of the screen. Oh, there we go. Might be there. Okay, start at the bottom. Thrust twenty six, Arena Foot, Repentless VG, uh, Mallard Games, Iceposta, uh, Tifos, Splendid Nut. I think it's pretty much the same people as the top of the show. That was a good. Keep sign. going. Keep going. Uh, Esther Mears two thousand eight was here, um, and these are these are just the people chatting. So I don't. Yeah. I've I one show. I uh, went through the list of everybody watching. Wow. And got in trouble. Got in trouble immediately. <laughs> They're um, like, don't call out the people's names that aren't talking because it's very rude. <laughs> oh, it's is it against etiquette or against terms against, of service? Against etiquette. Etiquette, okay. Because it's like they don't want to put forth themselves um, right. chatting. Right. So it's good to just you yeah. know, leave them alone. Yeah, go yeah. back to the bottom again. I mean, this is a pretty safe show that... Oh, but I mean, yeah. maybe someone's watching while they're at work or whatever. It's like, oh no, I my totally boss will know my secret yeah. code name. <laughs> yeah. And the boss is also watching, so. Yeah, they'll hear. Wait, that's, that that's my. That's my. Employee. How dare he watch while I watch? I'm yeah. the boss. They have to be working. <laughs> it's the classic. Yeah. Re like reverse alibi. No scroll. No scroll. Oh, because my chat had shut down. Um, on my computer, so I didn't have the history, so we have to go to the backup computer. I know. It's terrible going to the backup computer. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in today. Um, oh, it's really weird not having anything there. Mm. It's like talking it is to, weird. It's yeah. like talking to no one. Yeah, <laughs> it is weird. But I don't look at the camera. I look at the chat, which is terrible to do. But thankfully for me, from my position, looking at the chat is almost like looking at the camera. It is really good. I'm for looking you. at the names more than anything, and they're right there. The yeah. most recent thing is right beside the camera. Yeah. With Flickr, it could have been better, but that's not allowed for Activision. Yeah, Activision allowed no Flickr in their games. Uh, so they they made their games around it because there's only two types of really detailed characters you can draw on one line. Mm -hmm. And to get more than that, you have to kind of timeshare oh, to draw okay. three. So sometimes it's not there. So you have to, you get 60 times a second to draw. So you have to be like, eh, I'll not draw this for 20 times a second and yeah. go back and forth. Um, and it looks, eh, it looks fine. It depends how you use it. Do, do they, do they make that just as a, a style guide just for look and feel? Yeah. 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 And they, even without Flickr, they were considered the best programmers mm -hmm. in, in the whole market mm -hmm. uh, back then. So it was a good rule. Well, li limitations make great art. And yeah. that is one of the most limited systems yeah. to program for. And, and that's, that's why people still come back to it. It is one of, it is, I believe, the most active homebrew um, console mm. in uh, maybe NES... But of the old systems, it is. And then Vectrex. Just because they're both very unique. That's why. Uh, also, no H-move bars. They're getting all techy there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no H-move bars. Uh, it's a technique that puts little black bars on the left-hand uh -huh. side of the screen. So they either don't allow them, don't put them in, or you cover them up with black on the left, which you can do by using the, the play field for one bar of black and then you can draw the rest mm -hmm. so thanks everybody for tuning in and i will be back on wednesday with erlin and so we will see you then bye bye see ya